tell you about. Um, so basically, me and the rest of my clan, I've been recording everything we done, and I was just gonna put it like in a quick whole entire one hour episode but then i'm like no maybe i should edit it so i started i went into the files and i was looking for the files to edit it and i when i put it into sony vegas something happened and i don't really know what happened but it looks like i lost all the files it's been around three hours trying to look for a way to recover all my files but i wasn't able to so i lost all like basically eight or nine files into sony vegas and they all got corrupted which is a bitch if you know how to fix any of that um message me or comment down below or anything and uh i'll try to do that and upload that for you guys but so basically we actually been working grinding out me and red have been on the server like almost every day um because i don't know if you guys know i recently just had an operation on my pinky and <laughs> sounds stupid but uh, i broke my pinky again and they had to operate on it so basically because i wouldn't be able to use my pinky or like grip anything in my right hand which would be like bs basically because it'd be just stupid because i'm a righty if you guys don't know but um basically i was kind of screwed at that point so i had to get the operation got another cast on but i'm actually surprisingly with the cast i'm better at csgo <laughs> that's the weird part but yeah i won't be recording and editing all that much but i'll try to do here in a little bit there for you guys but yeah so i thought i'll just give you a tour of the place um we'll work on some stuff and every now every like episode um i'll show you guys some new stuff or maybe if you guys uh want me to like show you how to build stuff that i've done in this base i can gra grab all the supplies um because we actually have a good decent bit of supplies. But without further ado, let's get into the base. Okay guys, and we are back. So basically, um, just got into my base. You might be wondering, wait, where are we? Okay, so let me just do a quick explanation. Sorry if my mouse cursor is everywhere. My cast is kind of in the way. Um, so I built this really cool contraption. If you want me to show you like a tutorial on how to do this, it's really, really easy. It took me around 5-10 to 10 minutes. Got all the resources from our shop, which I'll be showing for you guys later. But, um... Basically, there's a pressure plate here, it pushes the, the two blocks which push out, and at the same time, there's uh, two sticky pistons over there which push the block in, and then, we, well, on the outside, it's basically the same thing, you got a, one that does the same exact thing, which sends a redstone signal pulse and around to make those blocks retract, and at the same time, those blocks to retract. So that's basically about it. I don't do not know what the fuck this is. Um mind my language but i think this is kind of like red this was red's idea i don't know why i like messed up right there i think this was supposed to be a keyboard i'm not 100 percent sure about that looks like probably a computer um red's horse was here i don't know what happened to it so yeah these are our supplies we got some supplies i won't be showing any coordinates because um there isn't enemy faction clan so i don't want them to know anything um we did we have went to the nether which was a big episode and if you want me to do it again i can do that again for you guys um so yeah, we got Ender Pearl from stuff that we've killed, all this stuff, and this stuff in here too. So yeah, um, so beds over here, kind of normal. But then when you, hold on. damn, it. bam, Red made this room, which was actually a genius idea to hide it right behind the painting. Um, maybe in the future I might clear out all of this, make this room a little bit bigger, and get some other supplies. Um, so basically all the um. If you're wondering, how did you get all the stone? All the cobblestone that we took from mining out this base is actually a pretty big base. Um, we have this um, sheep farm and basically just kind of normal grass block in there from outside. Grass blocks in here. Uh, pigs. Stuff like that. Uh, water, lava. There's a bunch of lava outside, so that's why. Um, there's cow farm over here. And then this is my wheat farm that I actually made, which was pretty, pretty cool. Um, so we just started off with a normal farm, but basically there's pistons underneath here which retract the sand and bring it back up. The water's right here, so whenever the water um, goes, whenever the, sa the sand goes down, water comes in, floods everything, and pushes all the food into these hoppers. And basically these hoppers um, will take the food into the chest. I don't know why there's wool in there, but yeah. Pretty sure this is like our most full. Yeah, see? Um, we've been working on that. I made that. Um, we got some other stuff in here. Uh, and then in here, we have our um, 
we have our lapis in there for mining, enchantment room, um, and at the same time our anvil in case we need to do any of that. And there we'll be having our books. Um, so down here is our mine. I don't want to go all the way down there, but there's like, I guess a ravine because reds have been doing most of the mining, red and swat. Um, and then if we come into here, we might be like wondering, what's this? So that actually, I kind of decided to design this myself. This goes into the wall all the way around and then all the way around. Take a guess where this goes. You might be wondering, wait, is this just the rest of the base? No, down here is basically the main base we have to still move all that stuff that from that chest down there we might do something up here though um so let me let me just so when i click that lever that actually closed it um so do like that and then when you come back over here bam magical block appears it's just sticky piston pushes the block in and yeah so we dug out a couple of levels down for some stuff um for this level uh we might we don't know it's probably gonna be our storage level for everything um for this one, this is where our houses are. So my house is actually like far, far, far that way. Um, this is Red's house. Here, I'll show you around a little. Um, and then Bacon's house is down there. So Red's house, nothing too big. He made me go buy a bunch of uh, bricks and stuff. And we will be having events, which I'll be recording, by the way. Um, flat screen TV up in here. We got crafting tables, that chest over there. Nothing too big. Glowstone from the nether. And then we got his room down here. So actually, I'll be you'll be seeing one of these later on, and I'll explain what these are. And if you want me to show you a tutorial, it took me forever to understand. But I guess I was stupid or something because I just downloaded a map and figured out how to do it really quickly. Down here is uh, Bacon's base. Swat hasn't built his base yet. Um, just waiting for that. Uh, got a little toilet in the corner. Uh, furnaces that. Um, same thing over there, a little TV just like red. You got two beds in here, some glass panes, and that sort of stuff. Um, and basically, let's go up here. We will be checking out the enemy base soon enough because um, while we guys weren't there, I kind of did some cheeky stuff and put my um, set of home there because there are homes that you can set. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, one second, let me get rid of that. I'm going up here. Let me just grab a sword real quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me grab a sword and kill that real quickly. Okay, guys. And we are back. Sorry about that. Just took care of that creeper right there. Um, so, yeah. Might be wondering, what the hell is this? I don't know why I did that hopper up there. But, yeah. This is our... Um, mob spawner. So basically, the way we did it is be like, how we, how do you get mob spawn? We got a silk touch. Pi we got a silk touch pickaxe. Um, after intensive, intensive trying to look for a book, and then we couldn't find one, so we decided to see if we could enchant one. And yeah, so basically, um, me and Red, we were looking into a cave, and actually at the end of the cave there was a dungeon. So we got a zombie spawner, and then when we went to the Nether, we found a couple of other spawners. And basically down here we have an XP farm now. And with the 1.9.4 update, whenever you hit one time, after that bar goes through, you hit all the mobs, so it's a straight up easy way. See, we just got a bow. That bow, see, as you saw, would get transferred into that hopper, into this hopper, and down into that chest. See the bows right there? We've got a crap ton of arrows. We even got instant damage number two arrows, which would be very useful in the future. This is our nether pole that I turned it off just because of the fact that I don't want any creatures coming from the nether into our base. And, um, now, time to show you my, my base. My brand new, okay, so everyone's base is here, so hopefully Swap Panda's base is gonna go right into this wall somewhere. I want it to be a little bit more sneakier, and be the only one, when I'm on, be the only one that will be able to get into my base, unless I tell them to TP to me. So if you do slash home, I think it's home. Oh, okay guys, sorry about that, I went to the wrong home by accident. Um, I was gonna do home four, and I'm pretty sure it's home four, so I'm gonna just do home four. I did home two, and it took me to a random spot. Wow, uh, that loads. Bam! Now, this is the masterpiece. Um, this actually took me forever to get all the supplies. The carpet was kind of annoying, because I had to go and shop, get all the prices and stuff. Um, paintings were really nice addition. 
Um, got the little couch here, TV up in here, multiple screens, so you watch more than one thing at a time. We got, and you should look at this, like, actually, thinking about this, this doesn't take that many blocks to craft, like, making stone slabs, all this stuff, and the stone, um, that, it's stone's pretty, actually, the stone, the, 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 the way I have it, this stuff is actually really cheap in shop, so I just sold a bunch of stuff, I sold a bunch of diamonds that I went and mined, um, and iron, and gold, and stuff like that, and was able to get... All of my walls like that so basically i don't know why there's a carpet missing right there um and we got some chest up in here right here and um thinking about this this is a really cool design if you ever want to do this for a base and if you ever want me to have like do a video about like minecraft designs and stuff i can be doing that for you guys with other like people that i play with it's a bunch of crafting tables cobblestone like there's nothing much here there's wood planks cobblestone and wood planks nothing else like in the glowstone and like look how cool this is not just like the basic crafting table and furnace okay and i forgot to add the ladders so far that's why we have to jump eh. okay i'll show you that room in the middle in one second um i have to do home four and try to get again but this is my masterpiece room down here this eventually will be blocked up it will be a staircase leading down into here and i will have a hidden staircase so if you uh, put a button down and then click the button the staircase opens into another room which leads you down into here um, so that'll be cool eventually in the future uh, we got a bunch of chest setups basic setup um, glowstone okay and these things take a lot of crap of redstone um, not really it's really really simple this is my enchanted set it's actually a pretty good enchanted set um, I probably I'm gonna be doing another enchanted set today because as you can see if I click this button BAM comes up this one's empty and this one's empty so come bring that one back up again so as you just saw in the demonstration these are armor switchers or like an armor closet basically you have your main one right there say your friend needs an extra pair bam pops up bam pops up really that simple got a le leather from our cows chainmail wasn't that hard to get and the iron and then gold and then the diamond was a little bit more difficult because i had to go mining get a bunch of iron um gold and other resources and sell them so i can be able to get three sets of diamond um then this is my enchanted set this is my first set so far i haven't enchanted a sword yet if you have any suggestions on where the sword should go um leave that down below and i have a little cheeky um chest down here like extra supplies maybe or something like that maybe in the future i'll be using um and here is my head wall this is my secret room down here so i'm putting my heads up here um this first head is actually one of the wither heads because when we went to the um nether me and red we fought a bunch of um we fought a bunch of those skeletons, like the black skeletons, whatever they're called, and uh, I, we were only able to get one. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get three, and then we'll probably take that to the arena and have it so we can, our whole entire clan can fight it. And I got a zombie head from killing a bunch of zombies on the other day. Now, it's time to show you the middle room. The middle room is honestly, in my opinion, will be one of my coolest rooms, but notice i say will be so if i do home four go up to my home okay let me just eh, okay so this room be like wait what this is an empty room yep it is an empty room for now but starting from this next episode i will pick a person so go down below leave a like subscribe and comment and if you do all those three things um any random comment like uh, th thanks for the series, or like maybe you want to see me do something later on the series, or you're giving me tips for my base, um, any something like that, um, and just leave it down below in the comment section, and I will choose one winner for every episode, and you will get um, your name up on here. You also, I'll also contact you and get your IGN, and your um, if you have a YouTube channel, I will get your YouTube channel, and you'll basically get a shout out from me. Maybe help you gain a couple of subscribers, start you off, cause it is hard on YouTube nowadays with the uh, likes and shit. But good thing I wasn't affected that much by um, the subscriber drop, so hopefully that won't affect my channel. But yeah, anyway, guys, um, I will be doing a couple later things later on. If you want to see more of this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Let's smash 100 likes on this episode. And that's it for today. Peace out, guys, and bye.